going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys listen i seen this story about 30 minutes ago and i couldn't believe it i have to report on this because this is something that goes on far more often than people even think a lot of people can't conceive this happening but this is what's out here and this is something that's been going on for decades and I want to bring awareness to it. I want you to brace yourself for what I'm about to show you. This woman here. Oh, is 45 years old. Her name is Beverly Barton out of West Miami Dade. Shout out. And uh, this woman is accused of trafficking her 14 year old girl and having uh, authorities called on her because of a foul odor detected from her children. Now, I'm going to play you this video, and uh, it might not sound like much, but this is what happens when a lot of times you're uneducated, you, be you become a, a mother, you know, and uh, you don't have people around you that mean your best interest. So what happens is if you're around dark hearted people. Sometimes your heart is corrupted and it's dark. I don't know what this woman's problem is, but I mean, she failed her children and eventually, you know, it's just a reflection of the failures she had in life. In my opinion, take a look at this. Crime alert, a mother behind bars accused of child neglect. That arrest coming after authorities got a tip that she may have trafficked her teen daughter. And local team Samir Nepsi live now in West Miami Dade with the disturbing details tonight. Samir. Calvin and Nicole, so this teen also telling police she had been assaulted a number of times, one of which included when her mother left her alone. This investigation leading to more questions. This is horrific what I read here. It's horrible. The judge is talking to this woman, 45 year old Beverly Barton, now facing two charges, child neglect and false information to law enforcement. According to an arrest report Wednesday, Barton was spotted with three children ages 14, 9 and 8. The kids said to be in what appeared to be dirty clothes and unbathed. At the time, Barton gave police a fake name, identified herself as Evelyn Martin. She also told police her children were enrolled in Miami-Dade Public Schools virtual program. However, detectives revealed there were no records of her children ever attending Miami-Dade Public Schools. She has three children, two who she described as boys that are really girl, girls. The eldest child. 14, revealing to detectives she had been sexually assaulted a number of times. One of those incidents when her mother had left her alone while she went to purchase alcohol. That's something Barton denies. Now, this isn't her first time facing a court regarding child neglect. I see she had uh, prior convictions for child neglect back in 2002. It was also revealed in court, Florida Department of Children and Families previously removed six children from her custody. And back out here live, Barton now held here at TGK under a $5,500 bond ordered to stay away from her children. We're live in West Miami Dade. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News. All right, guys, uh, that's the news article. And as sad as it is, this is often a reflection of how people were raised. You hear the, you hear the term broke people. I mean, hurt people, hurt people, right? Yeah, that's it. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. Um, a lot of times people are grow up in households where it ain't a lot of hope. They're exposed to a lot of things they shouldn't be exposed to. Looking at this woman, this woman had a hard life. I don't know if it's due to hard headedness or wanting to be fast in the street or what have you. Either way, she's where she's at for a reason in her life. Either she couldn't overcome something. She was raised a certain way where what she does now was considered normal back then. Either way, she had offspring that are suffering from this. What you guys did, what it didn't say in the thing is it says the eldest child, which is 14 years old, right? And that confuses me too, because it says she was, had a prior conviction of child neglect back in 2002. That, that, that little girl, 14, that 2002, that doesn't even add up. So where was, where's this other child? Was it somebody else's kid or, or what? But anyway, listen, 
Little girl told police she was assaulted sexually four times, multiple times. They said four times. In one of those incidents, the girl's mother, Barton, was the alleged suspect the report stated. A lot of times, these women that be downtrodden and stuff like that, and make no mistake, everybody knows this. There are predatory men out there that are so trifling that they will stick their dick in anything. We see it, whether it's a kid or somebody in her condition. If them kids were stinking, you know she stink. My thing is this, how do you sacrifice your children for your own personal uh, needs and goals? You can look at her and tell she wants some type of drug. She looked like a crack addict to me. You know what I'm saying? I was around in the 80s crack era and stuff. She looked like a smoker. And we just gonna keep it real. There are people that will sacrifice the youth of their children and stuff like that to get a quick fix or whatever. Them kids never went to school, said he was never registered in school. So you got a 14 year old girl that's uneducated, getting the education from watching you. Thus, the cycle continues. I feel nothing for this woman. You a mother. You had you had three children. Where the dad's at? Then another thing is said, oh, she's they only gave a five thousand dollar bond. You sacrifice your child for either pleasure or or some type of exchange to give you satisfaction, not her. You ran it through the ringer. Fourteen years old, she shouldn't even be touched yet, and here she got four things that she brought up and one of the people that touched her was you see a lot of times the anger and frustration in somebody and what they hate about themselves they expel it out to other people that child did not do anything to you it's very expensive and it's very you know hard to raise children from a, a mental standpoint putting the right things in them by leading by example which she didn't and also making ends meet when you're by yourself and you got to assume the role of a man and a woman to uh, bring money in, problem solve, protect and everything else. And she couldn't do it. That's a lot. That's a lot, man. I, I, reports say she went and previously left the teen alone when she went to purchase alcohol and then an allegation that she denied while she was in court. Of course, she's going to deny it in court. Who would you leave that child alone with? That's the thing. There are a lot of women out here. and Come on, we know it. A lot of women out here, especially in the hood. I've seen it. That have just dropped their kids off with anybody. Hey, I'm going to go to the store. I'll be right back. It's perverted people all over the place. Sometimes they even set it up to where, you know, something happened to their kid. In exchange of getting money to go get high or whatever they want to do. It's news stories about it. We ain't, ain't going to act like it don't exist. How many times you think that little girl said something to her mom about somebody, some strange guy touching her? Or somebody coming out of sideways. What you think the mom's reaction was? Oh, shut up. Anybody try to get you? Uh, uh, I'm here. Shut up. People know what they're doing is wrong and they drown themselves in indulgence, whether it's alcohol, drugs, or whatever. This lady, it's a mess. You know what's coming. Gotta do it. Species name. Juggernautus Funkadunkus. The nastiest kind. She'll go buy a drink and let her kids stink. Think about that. No education, no hygiene. Said she the two she described as boys are really girls. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I, I don't even understand it. Why would you lie and say what they are and like they're going to give them baths and see? She's sitting up there with a, uh, what's some things the Muslim women wear? Man, I, I can't even remember. But she got one of them on. 
Ain't nothing righteous about her. Ain't nothing she's accused to got anything to do with the teachings of Allah. Go figure. This is trifling. And it's sad. Because her ignorance and, and her doing what she wanted to do in the street, it affected them. Do you think when they were younger, they see their mom as they do now? That woman, 45 years old, look at her. 45 years old. Nasty looking. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.